Thank you, Fluffy. You are awesome. And my little dude is so happy. Hello, every hello, everybody. Super Schooler here. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a cursor like this one. There are also a couple other cursors that you can make just with your own imagination. I'll show you those shortly. Okay. First thing you want to do... Hold on. First thing you want to do is you want to download Icon Art. This is a program that lets you make your own cursor. And there will be a, a description um, download link in the description. Alright, first thing you want to do is you want to open your Microsoft Paint. If you, want, if you don't have it on your desktop like me down here, then you want to go click on your start, type in in all capitals MS Paint. And then it'll be right up there, first one. Okay. So what you want to do first is you want to go to Properties, however you get to it, and type in Width 32 and Height 32. And then you want to, you know, maximize it as much as it'll go. And then you want to draw pixel by pixel whatever you are going to make. Like so. And anyway, so yeah. And then you do this, and then, just let me open you one because I don't know what I'm doing here. Here's one I've already made. And this is my super schooler dude character. So anyway, and as you can see, I have the cursor pointer up here. Otherwise, it would just be this dude, and you wouldn't know where to click, or where the activation point is for you to click on something. So it helps to put a little arrow over here. And so you want to, you know, if you have this version, you want to select it and press copy. And then you want to minimize it. Click on icon art. Click this little thing right here that it's a piece of paper with three different colored dots on it. Select import from clipboard. Press OK. And then what you want to do is, see how the mask is this color? You want to drag it all the way down here to green. And then this is the color you draw with. And then you want to take your paint bucket and fill in all the empty spots, like so. And then all you have to do is press save. This save right here with the cursor icon on top of the floppy disk. Save it. And then you got to select the point, the hot spot. The hot spot of where you can click things. So right now, you want to, and see this little square pops up on the tip of your mouse. You want to drag that over here to where the tip of your mouse will be. And then you want to go down here and click Save As. And then you simply give it a name. I'll just type, you know, just um, cursor. And then you want to go over here, click Save. And then after you've done that, you want to click on Start, go to Control Panel, find your mouse, wherever it may be, Pointers. And then you can go in here, select the pointer you want to use, like this link select. And then, well, let's do this one. You click Browse, and it, then it takes you to all of your cursors that you have. Now, your cursor, cursor that you made will not be in here. It will be wherever you put it. I put it in my library, 
in my documents. And there it is right there. And then you want to open it. And then it will save it as such. And then you click apply or OK. And then, you know, after that, it will start opening like this. See? It will start doing whatever it's supposed to and show your little cursor character like this. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for checking out my videos. And hopefully I will have this up tonight. Yay! As you can see, I'm also uploading an Uber Strike video. But you don't care because you just came here to see the cursor. Alright, thanks for watching.